Hey y'all, okay, it's Saturday again, and this week's theme was freedom. You could do whatever you wanted. Um, last week I got a few compliments on this makeup look, which I had in last week's video, and um, I will link that down below so you guys can see it. Oh, my eyelash bothered me. Okay, so um, this week I just decided I would do it. Um, yeah, in the very first part I have on no foundation. I tell you when I go put on foundation, so... That's a little weird. Um, most every product I use was drugstore except my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. Um, NYX is at, sold at Ulta, so but it's drugstore price. I think this this was six ninety nine, so it's kind of drugstore um, drugstore price. I also used Sally Gl Sally Girl, which you can get at Sally Hansen Beauty Supply, and the NYX lipstick and NYX Gel Eye Pencil again. NYX. Um, but other than that, you can get absolutely everything I talk about at the drugstore. Um, Graveyard Girl, her name is Bunny, she did this look. Hers is a little more dramatic, I think. Um, I tried to recreate it using just drugstore colors. So, if you guys want to see how I get this really dramatic, bam, I just keep watching. Bye. First, we're going to primer our eyes. I'm going to be using the NYX HD Primer. Just put a little bit, bit on your eye. We're going to blend it out. Now I'm going to be taking NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm going to be taking this all the way up to the brow bone. And then just blend it out really well. Now we're going to be taking Maybelline's Define a Line and this is in Ebony Black. We're just going to be using this as a base for our black. So we're going to pull out your eye just a little bit and you're going to kind of start your eyeliner really thick and then we're going to circle it up just above the crease. It's okay if this is a little messy because we're about to blend it out. Just take your finger, blend it inward and upward. This is just going to grip the black and hold it better. And don't worry if it looks really crazy or it's under your eye or anything. We are going to fix it all. This look is a little messy and not super blended, so bear with me. Okay, now we're going to be taking a Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow. And this is the definer shade from Blue Had Me, Had Me at Hello. It's just a matte black. I'm just going to be taking that on a um, fluffy brush. This is the um, e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. All the brushes I use today, unless I say otherwise, will be just a fluffy brush. I have three from three different companies. So, yeah. Just going to dab a little bit on there. We're just going to pat it right on top. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm going to be taking the um, I, Wet n Wild I Dream of Greeny, and this is the um, eyelid color. So I'm just going to be taking that, and we are going to pat it on the remaining part. Um, these shadows are a bit chalky, so definitely don't do windshield wiper motions. Um, just pat. Um, we are going to take the... Oh! Um, then I'm going to land a final line again, and we are going to tight line and waterline. Okay, now I'm going to take my favorite liquid liner, which is the um, Maybelline Line Slash Line, Maybelline Line Stiletto, and um, just has this nice little thin brush, and I'm just going to um, line right on the top of my lash line. Okay, so I just um, lined the upper lash line. Now, um, these colors are a little matte and a little too dull. So I'm going to spice it up a bit. And I'm going to take um, glitter and put on it. So this is the Sally Girl. Let's see if I can get it without a glare. Um, this is just a, glue, a glitter adhesive. It just comes out clear. That's way too much, but... Um, I just dab that all over, make sure my finger is kind of nice and wet with it. Then I'm just going to dot it right on the black area. 
Okay. Now I'm going to be taking, um, this is the Sally Girl Sparkle effects, and this is just a silver loose glitter. Um, I've got some in my lid here. I'm just going to take it on a small brush and dab it into the lid, and we're just going to pat it right on the black. Now I'm going to do my brow bone highlight, and I'm going to be using... This is from the Wet n Wild Trio Sweet as Candy. Should be taking it on a um, fluffy brush again, and we're just going to place this right under. Um, make sure and blend it with the top color because we don't want it to be super dramatic. Mascara. I'm going to be taking my favorite mascara, um, Amé One Coat Lengthening. We are just going to put a little bit on this after we curl our lashes. I forgot about that because I usually don't curl my lashes. I'm just going to be putting one small coat on here. Because we are going to do fake lashes. Um, I have a baby wipe. Um, let's see, this is what they look like. They're just from CVS. I just got a small pack of baby wipes. I use them all the time. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, I don't have any foundation on my face right now at all. I'm going to put that on in just a minute. But um, you just kind of wipe away the glitter. Um, I usually do foundation first, but because um, I knew there would be a lot of fallout with all the colors, I didn't want to do foundation first and um, have to deal with all that. Okay. Perfect. Now, I am going to apply fake lashes, and if you want to know how to do that, I just did the video um, on my channel of this, so I will um, link that below, but I will be right back. Okay, fake lashes are on, mascara on the top is on, now I'm going to be taking my, uh, it's just a BH Cosmetics, it's kind of like an eye, I use it for eyebrows most of the time, but we're just going to be taking this very small brush. And a little bit more of our um, green for my Dream of Genie. Just gonna tap that on. We're going to run it right under. Now I'm going to be taking Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara. I absolutely adore this. Um, so I'm just going to. Okay, this is NYX Pigment in Pearl. Now I don't use a brush for this at all. Take my finger and put it over there. Turn it upside down and back over, and then I kind of tap it to get some extra off. Okay, now there's that. I'm going to blow a little bit more off because this is way too much. And that's now what it looks like. Oh, focus. Okay, now I'm just going to open my eye and tap it right in the tear duct. Okay, foundation done, hair is down. Now I'm going to be taking ELF's Contouring and Blush Palette because this look is so dramatic. I don't really want to do anything much with my cheeks. So I'm just going to be taking a blush brush and dotting into the, oh goodness, dotting into the contouring shade. And I'm just going to run it right here on my cheeks, right on top of the cheekbone. I'm going to be doing that on both sides. Just kind of blend it out really well. And then I take it and kind of just wipe it off on my arm. Now we're going to be taking um, the blush side and putting it right here on our cheeks. And I just kind of take it and blend it up and blend it out. And on camera, this looks really scary, but in person, it's barely even noticeable. It's crazy. And then sometimes I wear a blush and you can't notice it at all. So... Okay, for lips. Oh, for lips, I'm going to be using NYX Lip Smacking Fun Colors lipstick. I just got this, and this is in 598 Christine. It's just this gorgeous, it's it's my lips, but glittery, if that makes any sense. Um, you guys can fill in your eyebrows if you want. I just, I don't usually fill in my eyebrows at all. So, just going to slide that on. And that's 
pretty much the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you again soon. Bye.